We're all getting ready for Hurricane Sally. Lots of people have asked me, what should I do to prepare? Check with your neighbors, see what the most likely impact is in your neighborhood and kind of use that as a guide. I can't tell everybody what's going to happen. I can only give you the big picture and the big picture is this is a category two hurricane with the maximum steady wind right now of 100 miles an hour. The center of the storm, it's well over 100 miles south of us and the actual winds over 75 miles an hour, the hurricane force winds, they cover an area that's about the size of Mobile County. So they are confined to the center of the storm. So in the first case, wind is not our immediate issue. A lot of people focus on these categories on the Saffir Simpson wind scale, but keep in mind going from a one to a two takes one mile per hour difference. But once you're in the category, you could have 15 miles per hour difference or more. So these are just rough guides. Do not use that as your only guide for what to expect. It's going to be rain for all of us. Heavy rain. Forecast projection has winds increasing, steady winds to 110 miles an hour easily tonight and tomorrow. And within that cone, that's where the center of the storm could be, meaning it could make landfall on South Baldwin County. It could go to Lake Pontchartrain or more likely somewhere in between. But that's not going to necessarily change a lot of the impact for most of us. Uh, that first impact, of course, being heavy rainfall. And the rain will continue northward into Alabama, northern Alabama, and Georgia. And keep in mind, even at this point, we are at least 24 hours away from landfall. And when you look at the center point of the forecast, the average error is 40 miles. 40 miles, that means it could be 80 miles across. So you cannot pinpoint a specific city where you think this is going to make landfall. You really have to limit it to a county or a couple of counties. Average wind, plus or minus basically 10 miles an hour in terms of the accuracy. Here's the hurricane warning. Santa Rosa County, Scambia County, Florida, those are new there. Notice the tropical storm warnings for our inland counties in orange. And then, of course, we have storm surge risk due to that strong southeast to south wind, which will pick up in Mobile Bay. Four to seven feet of storm surge across the Mississippi Gulf Coast. It could be six to nine feet storm surge and then across uh, the Florida Panhandle easily two, three, four feet. Now we are at this point approaching low tide tonight. The winds will start picking up tomorrow. So at the same time the winds start picking up, notice we approach high tide tomorrow morning at 10 and then it falls tomorrow evening. The tide, natural tide difference is about a foot and a half. So you have to add that to those numbers I just showed you when you're talking about high tide. And these are the numbers everyone needs to see. Flooding rain, several months worth of rain in just a couple of days. 10, 15, 20 inches along the coastline, north of I-10, a foot of rain, even inland into southern Washington County, you could still see a foot of rain. The rest of our inland counties, easily 8, 10, 12 inches as a broad average. And remember storms like George and Danny, they left two to three feet of rain two to three feet. So if this system really slows as you watch this projection, we could see a couple feet of rain. Here's the outline going to tomorrow at noon. There's the center of the circulation projected. Hurricane force winds would be there. The rain here through the day tomorrow, that east wind picks up through tomorrow night. It becomes a southeast wind and then a south wind. And that's what really pushes the storm surge up going into Wednesday morning. I'll show you the wind speeds in just a moment. Do remember, of course, Flooding is our number one threat right now. High wind, yes, that will be a threat along the coastline and storm surge also a threat along the coastline. So here's your wind projection. One o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow, offshore 65 miles an hour. Dauphin Island about 44 miles an hour. Notice north of I-10 winds 20 to 30 miles an hour tomorrow evening, basically 24 hours from now. Dauphin Island projected at 46, Pascagoula the wind falls because right now the center could go there and look at midnight tomorrow night, Dauphin Island 70 miles an hour for the steady wind. Notice how it diminishes as you go farther away. So hopefully it'll stay a compact system which would limit where those strongest winds are. But certainly Jackson County, Mobile County, Mobile Bay, we could see some of the strongest winds from this as it approaches if it takes that more easterly track. And then on the day Wednesday, things will gradually subside. If you didn't notice earlier today, for a time, there were five named storms in the Atlantic Ocean. Now, it's not unusual. This has happened before, but it gives you a sense of how active this hurricane season is. 
Stay updated to the forecast. Here's your seven day tracker and do whatever you can do to protect your property, yourself, your family. Do what makes you feel safe and do what makes you feel comfortable.